My name is Dr. Michael Schlepat. I'm a professor of medicine at the University of California, San Francisco, and at the San Francisco VA Healthcare System. And I'm the scientific director of the Kidney Health Research Collaborative. One of the most important factors in this new guideline, in my opinion, is that we're aggressively asking primary care providers to hunt and find and detect chronic kidney disease. And the reason for that is it's amazingly common. The numbers are 850 million people globally, 9% uh, of the adult population. To put some context in the numbers, 9% overall is the prevalence. That's roughly twice the prevalence of diabetes, which we do screen for. But I think depending on one's patient population, if you're a geriatrician, the prevalence of chronic kidney disease in your population might be 50% or even higher. In my experience, only patients with very advanced kidney disease tend to be seen by nephrologists. So most of the burden of detecting and treating kidney disease happens in the primary care setting. And overall, globally, and in the United States, uh, we don't do that very well. So there's really a need to create simple messages that will be high yield for advancing the care of patients with chronic kidney disease. We've learned over the years that if we're overly focused on the kidneys, that primary care providers don't have enough time and bandwidth to really focus on another condition. And so going forward, we're going to try to integrate kidney disease prevention and treatment right in the middle with preventing cardiovascular disease, diabetes prevention and treatment, because the whole cardio-kidney metabolic axis, they're so interwoven. In most parts of the world, nephrology care is pretty limited and Nearly all of patients with chronic kidney disease, if they receive medical care, are being treated by primary care providers. So it's our community in primary care that has the opportunity to prevent the progression of chronic kidney disease and to take advantage of all the new developments in treatment. If we're passive and we wait until nephrology care is involved, then we'll basically be sentencing patients to late stage CKD because nephrology just doesn't uh, have the ability to get involved until the patients have already passed through all the early, easily preventable stages of CKD. 